So there I have been making a video about how I don't care about cup competitions, but in the video I said I'm gonna watch Milan Sampdoria. I did not watch. I didn't have the chance. I was out. And I guess it was for the better for it, because um, the game was not a good one. It went to overtime after nil nil. I think Milan had the better of the yeah, first 60 minutes from what I could get, and Sampdoria actually couldn't make their chances in overtime. Cotrone came on, made the goal, right? Made two goals. Um, the first one, a really nice pass in, and the second one, a uh, goalkeeper was just out. Uh, that was that. Um, just for completeness sakes, Lazio beats Navarra 4 win and Juve uh, beats Bologna 2 0, and they are all on to the quarterfinals. For now, who cares? Uh, but I, you know, I'm happy that Milan moves on. Maybe the cup for Milan it's the one title that they don't win that often. And I, I actually wouldn't, it would be nice to see them win something less than the one in 2003, which is kind of disappointing. Another made the two cup finals one they lost to you were close, and the other one, yeah, the one last year better not talk about it. Um, more interesting for sure. Uh, uh, the other leagues that I want to talk about here is kind of a big European roundup of today. Uh, we have La Liga, we had a big clash in Portugal, and we have a little bit in France. Uh, then let's go to the big clash in Portugal, which was Sporting against Porto. Um, yeah, Porto, although being far ahead in the league, uh, had actually the better part of the game there. Uh, but couldn't manage a goal and neither did Sporting, so it ended nil nil, uh, which means Port, uh, Porto 43, uh, Benfica who won 2 nil is 38. Those are the two at the Champions League spots. Uh, Braga, I see, is now 30 37. Let's see the result. You know, we have not been following this, but I just want to see. Yeah, they made only a 1 1 at Portimonense, it's a team that I heard now for the first time. That tells you how close I'm following the Portuguese league. Um, and Sporting is in fourth spot, so yeah, eight points behind Porto quite off the pace. Uh, it's gonna see, but they still have quite the cushion over Vitoria Guimarães at 28 points. So it seems that the big three plus Braga, and which are the big four, more or less in Portugal, uh, again, all make the European spots. And I'm really curious if anyone can challenge Porto. Maybe Benfica can do something, but I think they also played a little, little draw at home earlier. So yeah, Portugal is done, but you know, uh, whenever one of the big three in Portugal play each other, that should, uh, we should talk about that. Uh, the other games were not as noteworthy. Let's go to France, uh, where I saw the highlights of PSG winning at Amiens uh, in the second half. I think it was a penalty by Cavani. Neymar was not playing. Um, and then after another of those M Mbappé runs, uh, the defender gets... Uh, why don't I see the game here? That's odd. Games for games of today. France. I just want to make sure. Yeah, here it is. There were three games today in France. I I, I don't know. They didn't update it in the app. Yeah, Mbappe gets the other goal. Also very nicely played. A really great pass by Cavani. And in the end, Marquinhos makes it uh, three nil. Very, um, you know, not a lot of great great performance, but you know. PSG is back to winning ways after losing to Gangan, uh in the League Cup, Coupe de la Ligue, uh, earlier, which is one of those freak results. I actually don't know if they play with the first string squad and so on, but still, uh, that should not happen. The other uh, games are Gangan losing at home to Saint-Étienne. Yeah, you got the big win at PSG, now you lose at home to Saint-Étienne, and the other one, uh, Nice against Bordeaux, 1-0 uh, win. So let's see Saint-Étienne, the winner uh, by Kazri, or in the sixth minute. At I wish that Gagas stays in, but yeah, I think it's going to get hard. And Nice, uh, who made the goal, saint Maxime in uh, by a penalty. I just see that the stadium was only a quarter full against Bordeaux, and let's see uh, table, I mean, PSG 
is ahead Lille uh, 37 in the second spot. I haven't talked about uh, Liga in, in, in a while. I promise to get back to Liga a little bit. Uh, Lyon 33 points, Saint Etienne also now 33 points. Um, Lille actually having, yeah, the, the league in because of the yellow jacket protests, it's all a little bit fuzzy uh, with, with, with the games. So Saint Etienne played today has 19 games. Lyon still has to play. Uh, has also 19 games, so at least they are level at that point. They both have 30, 33, Montpellier is 30, which is only 18, Lille 37, but they have all already played with um, 20 games. So yeah, it's a little bit Nice moving up ahead of Marseille, but Marseille has two games in the end. I hate messy tables like that. Uh, their main percentage system might work well. On the bottom of the table, we have still Guingamp with 11, and Monaco with 13, and Dijon with 16, Amiens. 18 points, Caen, 18 points, Angers, 20, you know, that's basically where it's really, but it can, if I look at the relegation, 16 plus 6, 22 points, yeah, this is up to Bordeaux at 13th, uh, it's very, very smooth, there's really not that much of a jump up until, uh, I guess, yeah, PSG, a little, something like that, uh, so yeah, Lots of things can happen. Uh, also, a few games in the Primera División, uh, La Liga. How do you call it now? La Liga, Primera División, can you use it interchangeably? Nothing uh, really great of note. Leganes winning 1-0 against Huesca, Valencia 1-1 Real against Valladolid. Valladolid, by the way, if you haven't heard, there was a great uh, video on Tifo um, that's actually the big Ronaldo, not little Cristiano is the owner of Valladolid. Uh, Girona plays a 1-1 against Alaves, very um, uneventful in Getafe, uh, wins 2-1 at Villarreal. Uh, also, yeah, they got to get a late winner by Rodriguez, which means not much for the table. I mean, I'm looking forward to the games a little bit tomorrow, uh, how it will develop. But Getafe now has leapfrogged Betis, Betis has a game in hand. Uh, but he's now in sixth spot. Um, Girona went ahead of Espanyol and Valencia with one point ahead of Levante, but you know, doesn't really mean much for now. I want to see how it goes. Huesca seems to be relegated, sure. Uh, Vallecano is also moving up a little bit. So uh, that's kind of my European roundup uh, outside of the Premier League. Uh, this Saturday really was all about the Premier League. Tomorrow I think it will be more about the others, but then there's a the big game in the Premier League. Uh, let's quickly see who's what's in the Premier Division on. If there are any uh, Atletico Levante at noon. Bilbao Sevilla sounds like a great game, but Bilbao is a little bit in a mess. But uh, that, that could be interesting. Barcelona A bar should be a massacre usually. And yeah, Betis against Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Betis can do. Again, yeah, I was just running down uh, scores here, so I don't want to get in that Milan won. Uh, no, no, not even a biggish game, I don't know what I understand. Uh, but yeah, we needed to talk, talk, talk about that one. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you still enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see much better videos than this one. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.